Okay, it's Damien. Yes. Uh, can Singaporean cuisine actually be defined? What um, is your definition of Singapore food? You've been around for quite a while as well. I, I think, it, yes, it can be defined. To me, Singapore cuisine is organic fusion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why I call it organic fusion is because when it started in the, in the 19th century, there were different races that were in Singapore and they created Singapore's first cuisine. Mm -hmm. So there was Chinese, yep. there was Malay, there was Indian, right. uh, there were Europeans mixed, right? And this group of people started cooking different dishes. Mm -hmm. So you have one dish that's cooked by the Chinese, right. cooked by the Malays, cooked by the Indians mm -hmm. and by the Peranakans. Yep. And eventually, you know, it became, uh, it became a dish which involved all the different races. And that's mm -hmm. why I call it organic fusion. Uh -huh. So if you want to define it, I think the best way to define okay. it is organic really fusion. fusion. Yeah. You've been around as well. I mean, this is my mentality. You know, I've been yeah. around who knows less, much less than you have as well in the industry. Yeah. And we both do Singapore cuisine. Right. And for me, it's also tough. I mean, go overseas, people ask, well, what exactly is Singapore food? And um, even to be honest, even I myself, I mean, I, as you say, I, I, I totally agree with you. It's, it's organically fusion. Then the question is then be asked is, what does that mean? And they have yeah. to go with like a whole paragraph of right. describing it. And right. for me, it's like, my challenge is to, to nail down Singapore cuisine in just one or two liners. Correct. And it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to define what we are because we are melting pot of culture. It's too complex. It's too complex. Yeah. And it's everything you say. It's, no, it's, it's, you know yeah. why it's so complex? When you, when you, when you talk of Chinese, yeah. it is not just Chinese, you know? Yeah. There's Hokkien, there's Hakka, there's Teochew, there's Cantonese, there's cake. Oh, yeah, there's, yeah, true. there's so many different ethnic Chinese groups, right? Correct. And they all are different. Right. Correct. And Malay cuisine is all Malay. It's the same thing. Yeah. Indian cuisine as well. Exactly. North Indian, South Indian, and, and everything. That's why is it's so complex. So it's complex. And, 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 and this thing is talking to me as well. Like even for Labyrinth and my restaurant, so I mean, I am, I just, I, not say I've given up defining Singapore cuisine. Right. For me, I'd rather define it on my own terms, on what it is. I think it's the most representative dish you think in Singapore cuisine. If Chicken you can ask you. <laughs> Chicken so, so that's organic well, fusion for you. Well, it, it is because the Malays do it. Mm, yeah. Right? Um, and of course, the Chinese do it as well. Yeah. And if the Eurasians or Peranakans want to do it, mm -hmm. they would they would do it with their mm. own with their own style. Yeah, true. Right. Yeah. Um, and why I say chicken rice is one of the it's the only dish in Singapore. If you go to any hawker centre, yeah. you see at least one store. That's true. If not That's true. true, right? Okay, yeah. LG. What yeah. do you think of all the recent Singaporean restaurants opening and pop-ups happening overseas? To me, it's wrong. <laughs> It's wrong. It's not so what the overseas okay. pop-ups is wrong. Or no, no, no. The, the overseas pop-ups are great. Yeah, great. Yeah, are great. Mm. I think I think that's the best way for foreigners to experience local cuisine. Yeah. And you know, sometimes when you go away, it's hard to find the ingredients. I right. bring everything. I bring mm. all my paste. I go to wherever I go yeah. and I and I cook it there. Right. When you go overseas and somebody, the worst thing for me, right, is Singapore noodles. I hate that <laughs> because it doesn't even exist in Singapore. Is Come on, people. But it's quite tasty in UK. I ate it. No, it's quite tasty it, compared to like the other two. It is. Two, no? It is. It just cook noodles and you put a little bit of curry and powder. MSG, yeah, yeah, MSG that's powder it. as well. Yeah. You know, the name especially. I mean, when when you do when you do chili crab, even yeah. if it's ice cream, you say. It's, Chili crab, crab, ice yes, cream. Chili crab. Immediately it hits the part of the brain in Singapore yes. expecting what it's supposed to taste mm, like. Correct. correct? So, for example, if you do mee siam, yeah. okay, and it doesn't look like mee siam, but it tastes like mee siam. Yeah. Okay? I, I think that has to be, it either looks like it or it tastes like it. Or Why? <laughs> Why? Because when they come to Singapore, the mind tells them that they've eaten mee siam. And they want so when they, exactly. So, when they go somewhere, right, uh, let's not use the word authentic because I hate that word. Yeah. Um, you real museum, right? When you eat it, well, this is what I had in New York. Correct. But if it's not, then when you eat it, like, so not what I no, eat. which is right? True. The right one is the one you had in New York because it said authentic museum mm. or the one that you had in Singapore in the hawker center. But do you think the food should be? I mean, it's allowed a bit of bastardization or the variants to cater to the local palates there because they're yes. running a business there the yes. other day. But they have to limit it. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean in terms of the, the, the range of the, the quality cannot the flavors cannot be so far apart. I always say this as well, I always say that people know Singapore 
as a financial hub, a great city, right. a place to go to as well. No one really knows much about Singapore cuisine. For me also, I mean, it's also, I guess, in some ways you want to be gimmicky or stereotypical about it, then you just got to drill on a few hero dishes where you go overseas, chicken rice, uh, chili crab, this is Singapore cuisine, for now at least, to get started at least but before you know, we go deep. I, mean, I don't understand why we still keep the naming convention like Hainanese chicken rice. My grandma's right. Hainanese. Actually, the chicken rice now is nowhere, is not the it's same not as Hainan Island. Or... The laksa is not Penang laksa, the flavors are different. Or it's not Peranakan laksa. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. a better way forward, retaining classic flavors or pushing out modern interpretations of Singaporean cuisine. I think both ways, to be honest. I don't see why classic and modern cannot exist side by side on a plate. I mean, times have changed. We cannot be living in the past. Exactly. But I always believe that flavors right now that though even I'm accustomed to, I grew up in the 1980s, right? are not the same as when 1950, 1960. I always say that, um, I mean, one of my mentors once taught me that back then, in the olden days, you probably know, people had more time to cook. Yeah. You can slave over a pot for like hours, and now the people right. are rushing everywhere, you know, it's like right. a fast-paced society. And it's like, you know, so he taught me how to make the oyster sauce from scratch. Okay. And I, I only grew up eating oyster sauce from a bottle. From a bottle. I think that, then I drew that relation of, hey, this is the same, same, but very different. Yeah. And then I realized that the bottle is really bastardized to the max as well. How do you see Singaporean cuisine evolving in the next five to ten years? I don't know, to be honest. I mean, it's always evolving. I mean, I'm not the authority to say how it's going to evolve. I mean, it's just becoming, as you say, it boils down to what is Singapore cuisine. And, and, and I think for me, the scary part, as you mentioned, is how we are losing hawkers in their recipes and the young ones coming up are not doing their research or do not have the soul in cooking. So I'm, there's a slight concern that the quality of our street food is going to go down as, you know, cost goes up, as you know, the older generation goes as well. Is it, how is it going to evolve? You know, at the end of the day, I realised that there's been a lot of... Recently, I realised there's been a lot of Western influences into our cooking. Right. The use of suddenly Western, Western produce, produce in what we're doing as well. Yeah. And, you know, bach now, you've got Japanese style bunch on me in the hawker centres. Yeah. People are going a bit more fusion-y. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not sure what's the reason why as well. I hope it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, doesn't work at all. Work. The sad thing is that we don't have solid ground. Like you said, you know, define Singapore food, yeah. right? We don't have solid ground. Right. <clears throat> in Japan, they know what Japanese food is. Correct. Right? Okay. They know. You, you can't change it. Mm. So when they, when they do a French take on it, you can rest assured that it's Japanese, but it tastes French. Right. Okay? In Singapore, we're not, our feet are not on the ground. Okay? Maybe, yeah. The only thing that's on the ground is Tirta. That's the only thing that's on the ground. If they want to somehow, you know, save Singapore cuisine, is to open smaller restaurants. You know, your 15 seaters, your 20 seaters. But the rental is too high these days. It's the economy of scale doesn't exist in small right. restaurants. No, absolutely. I agree with you. You know, yeah. do what I did go to a coffee shop. Yeah. The, for the longest time, I did that and it worked, you know. And, mm. I, and, I, and I kicked myself all the time for, <laughs> for getting out yes. of it. Young cooks, no one wants to cook Singapore food. Everyone comes out, they want to go. When I give tests to my students in my kitchen, like, yeah. cook me a dish, the first thing the question they ask is, where's the pasta? <laughs> But what do I ask Mr. Mikia? <laughs> <laughs> well, last question for you, Elsie. Yeah. What is the Motsin cuisine all about? Oh, good question, right? I mean, taxi uncle always asks me what I cook for a living. I say, modern Singaporean, they're like, fusion, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, got tired after what? Like, yeah, fusion. <laughs> but I think most people have a misunderstanding. I think modern Singapore does not have to be a marriage of Western and Asian or Singaporean and Western or whatsoever. Like, I, you ask me what is my cuisine, and I say, actually, I am Singaporean. The produce I use is traditional. You know what I tell yeah. people when they ask me what's modern Singaporean? Right. I say Singaporean food, right? Yeah. But done in a gastron gastronomical, molecular way. That's what I tell them. I always say different. I mean, for me, it's a different way I say that. Okay, like chili crab ice cream, right? They say, oh, chili crab, you're molecular, you're like, oh, you're crazy. What's in the chili crab sauce? Um, there's eggs in there. There's traditional sauce base, there's thickness yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, and there's a bit of sugar. There's a bit of sugar, some just how sweet tomato pieces yeah. as well. And what's in the ice cream? I mean, the Thai version adds cream into it as well. Yeah. Ice cream is the same thing. It's the eggs, yeah. it's the sauce, it's the thickener. It's okay. yeah. I, I did not do anything to achieve sauce that became yeah. Western. I just had to use yeah. almost the same ingredients. Same ingredients. I just turned it into the ice cream machine. Yeah. <laughs> and so I always say people that, that, that what's seen is actually 
is Singaporean. But unfortunately, I think the, the reputation it gets in the industry is not so good because some people like to swap out like noodles for pasta. Yeah. And then they call it modern Singaporean. Then the question I always say is that what's so embarrassing about our noodles? Yeah. There's nothing embarrassing about it. I mean, yeah. why do we need to wash it? Japanese soba, ramen and pasta. Yeah. And we have great noodles on our shore as well. We do. And um, this Singaporean can be about traditional recipes, just yeah. a different way of interpreting it right. without bringing in any weird foreign elements to it at the same time. Yeah. I think that's what modern Singapore is about. Uh, if not, you call it fusion. Yeah. If you can put it in your mouth, you can taste laksa. Right. Hey, it's laksa, you know. You yeah. can't fight that, right? Correct. I mean, just because it doesn't have cockles or it doesn't have, um, you know, the, the, the right seafood ingredients yeah. in it, doesn't make it anything well, less. Essence is not the cockles. Essence is no, the paste. It's, it's the, the sauce. Flavor. The flavor, the sauce the itself. Flavor, yeah, the flavor, the sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly. Laksa. Yeah. I think about every local dish, there's an essence that lies deep beneath what defines the dish on its own as well, what they realize. Exactly. No, you, you know me, right? Like yeah. I said to you, I can eat chakutia every day. Yeah, correct. Good chakutia, yeah. right? Same as so, <laughs> so, if you, so if you take something, right, and you put the flavor of chakutia in it, yeah. as an example, right, and it's bread, yeah. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can't really, I, you know, I'm like, what are you to do, man? You know, if you want to do uh, Singapore toast, uh, you know, or, or call it chakwetiao toast or something yeah, like right, that, yeah. you know, um, I, I just can't. You know, I have to see the noodles. You know why? <laughs> because looking at the noodles, I can mm. tell you whether it's good or bad. What is one local ingredient that you think represents Chili. Singapore? Chili. <laughs> Chili. <laughs> I agree, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Hence, Hence, no, I always say, no, name me. A, I always say my, my, my cooks, name me a hawker dish that is not served with chili, chili inside, inside or on or the side. Outside, on the side. No one has given me an answer yeah, yet. Exactly. <laughs>